Should everyone agree when the Rwandan defense minister said in relation to that murdered former intelligence chief, when you choose to be a dog, you die like a dog? President Kagame himself said, whoever betrays the country will pay the price, will face negative consequences. That's not your government basically nudging and winking that they were behind those killings. Let me again put it this way. I don't know anybody who betrays a country uh, that gets uh, rewarded. Uh, let me just put it this way. Okay, but when you say you choose to be a dog, you die like a dog, is that an appropriate thing to say? Some might say that sounds like a gang leader, not a national leader. When, 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 when somebody comes after uh, my country and threatens the security of my country... Well, he's from your country, with, with respect. He was a former intelligence chief of your country. Absolutely, president. absolutely. Oh. Whomever it is, he's a if, you threaten, if you threaten my country... Did he, thre did he threaten you, your country, the former Yes, he did, absolutely. Was he prosecuted yes, he did. for... What was he prosecuted he for? He absolutely did. No, what no, no, we're talking for? about what he did. I'm asking for what he was prosecuted for. What he did for. is Agreed. he allied himself with militias that were attacking Rwandans and throwing grenades in Rwanda. Was he prosecuted for that? What was he prosecuted for? Who, who, who was supposed to prosecute him? Moments ago, you told me that the Rwandan government can't be accused of anything because it's not been adjudicated in a court of law. What was this former intelligence chief found guilty the of in the court of law? The government of Rwanda approached the government of South Africa to have this man extradited. But you agreed he was convicted of no crime. We agree on that. He was convicted of How no crime. How can he be convicted when the, he's not allowed okay. to face trial, which is and yet you're what celebrating Rwanda his was death. wanted. Fair enough. And yet you're celebrating the death of a man who was convicted of nothing. Why should I be uh, unhappy about my enemies and people who threaten... Well, we don't know um, who threatened because he hasn't been tried, as, as you pointed out.